Who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. Ollie Oxen. I just told you. That's who I think I am. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome to 2021. Ali here. We're down here in the new studio. As you can see, we're slowly moving in. We got a lot of things set up, but we still have a lot of work to do. Please excuse the mess. It's it's terrible in here, but I'm working on getting a lot of things done in a short amount of time. You're gonna see this go through a couple different phases, but for now, I'm gonna hold off on the tour and explaining how everything works. So we still have a couple things I wanna get done first. So there's an update on that. So today I wanted to take some time to do a video that I've been trying to do for ugh, ever since I started the channel, which is I wanted to update you on my personal rig. I don't think I've ever really shown it. And I wanna just kind of highlight the machine that I use every day to basically create this channel. A little history, this build in particular started in 2018. I went to Micro Center and I bought a PowerSpec G700. The specs on that Ryzen 7 2700X with the GTX 1070. I'd never had a computer that powerful before. Up until that point, I was using just typical Dell desktops, mostly laptops. It was really nice, but I didn't really get into customizing the PCs until I bought PowerSpec. I needed it for schoolwork. I studied architecture and I was using rendering programs and my laptop wasn't cutting it anymore. So when I bought that machine, I got really into customizing in. I painted my GPU shroud. I ended up taking a lot of things apart and just learning how pieces on the machine go together. My first attempt at making a custom case, Bills.gg, they sponsored a build competition and it was, it was pretty terrible. Uh, I was new and I was really into Funkos. Put them all in a PC. The theme was decent, but not the greatest execution if I could go back and do it again. But fast forward all of that to today, and this is the build. So if you take a look, the main chassis is the Fractal Design Meshify C. It's a very understated machine, not a lot of crazy lines, very simple, very boxy, but that's really my kind of style when it comes to my machine as far as the exterior case is concerned. We are running Ryzen 7 3700X, uh, not overclocked, stock everything. We've got 32 gigabytes of Corsair LPX memory. For the motherboard, I'm running the Asus R. G Strix B450F, I believe. This is one of my favorite motherboards. I love Strix. Not an Asus shill or sponsored by Asus in any way. I just really love their hardware. For memory, we're running two M.2s. Both of them are one terabyte. I bought these aftermarket heat sinks from Amazon. I didn't like the way that the M.2 sticks were kind of just sitting there by themselves. Didn't look very appealing, so had to cover those up, but I like the way that they turned out. For cooling, we have the Corsair H100i RGB Pro XT. I originally had a 280 mil rad, but if you can see up here, there wasn't enough clearance between the top fan and the radiator when I first put it in there, so I had to downsize. Clearly, I have Corsair LL120 fans and 140 fans all throughout. Big fan of Corsair fans, their RGB software. IQ can be buggy at times, but 
overall I've had a good experience with it so I've kind of stuck with it. I've collected a lot of these fans over time with the different Corsair fans that we have here so it just works better for me that I use Corsair fans. This right here this is a custom cable comb that I made. Typically I like to custom sleeve my own power supply cables but these happened before I really learned how to do that so these are not custom but the cable comb did come in handy when I needed the cables to make a really funky turn and I'll put up some pictures of the different ones that I've made up to this point and that, that's been pretty helpful but I like this because it, it just makes it very uniform there's no movement and I don't have to break up continuity of the colors on the uh, power supply cables as they go from the back into the motherboard and rounding out the big hardware we have the Asus Strix 3070. Uh, this is by far my favorite GPU ever. I had to wait a long time to actually get one of these, but it's, it's finally here. And no, it's not the most powerful card in the lineup. And to be completely honest, it's a bit overpriced for 3070, but that premium is what you pay when you have certain brand preference. It's not really loyalty, you just really like what a certain brand brings to the table. If you notice here in the front, I am rocking a Cryo Rig 140 Slim fan. I had two 140s in at one point of the LLs, but when I got the new GPU, it wouldn't fit. And I didn't feel comfortable running this without any airflow. I found this on Amazon and uh, it's it's been working pretty well. And rounding out the expansion slots, we have a seven port USB hub. I got this off Amazon. However, the software that came included doesn't seem to work with Microsoft 10. So I'm gonna have to find something different because I need more USB ports just on a personal level because you never know what you need to plug up. And we have my 10 gigabit network card from TrendNet. If you ever saw my video on creating a Plex server, I also use that server to move a lot of my uh, video files from this computer to free up space. Oh, I didn't mention. So my C drive is just my operating system and any programs that I run. My D drive, I have all of my games. And then in the back, I hate SATA cables. I hate all of that, but I went ahead and got one and got a crucial BX two terabyte SSD for all of my data. So all of my active videos that I work on, any other like data that I create, I put them on this one. And whenever I need to back up or move a lot of my data at once, I use a network card and that kind of pushes it quickly without me having to wait two and three days for a data transfer. Now you may recognize the back of this case uh, at one point I did have all of this entirely cable managed. Um, over time, as I you know, found upgrades and things that fit better, I did have to change a few things. I also 3D printed a couple uh, cable channels to route a lot of the power cables where I need them to go. Um, what else did we do? Oh, I got fan extensions so that I could run the cables all the way to the fan hub but some of the fan cables were not long enough and I had to go in and Frankenstein a couple of them. So you'll see these wires here. These are just like regular fan wires that I bought and uh, <laughs> kind of soldered them together. You can see the, the heat shrink right here and I needed the extensions to go longer so I just did what I had to do. I don't suggest you do it unless you've read um, the documentation on like the type of wires that fans use and everything but it worked for me also down here we've got the hubs uh, Corsair's RGB lighting while it's beautiful the implementation for the controller is absolutely cumbersome beyond all reason it makes for a lot of clutter and I also have a Silverstone's fan splitter 
because I believe this board only has three fan headers and obviously I have more than three fans in here. But yeah, another 24 pin custom printed cable channel to kind of keep it all in place. But that that's pretty much the build as it stands. I want to give you a small preview of what we will be working on in the future. And I guess we can start with the case. So. How does Kyle do this? Fantex P500A. This is gonna be the new home for the case. Uh, cannot wait to open it up. I chose the P500A after going back and forth between the Land Cool Mesh 2 and this one in particular. I want to move to custom water cooling. Soft tube, hard tube, all of that, reservoirs. I wanna get into it. That's like my last bastion of unexplored territory as far as computer building is concerned. And I wanna see how I can put my spin on it. But to do that, I have to get a case that can accommodate huge rads and custom tubing. And from what I've read, this case in particular is gonna be everything that I'm looking for. I think it supports up to a 480 rad in the top, 360 rad in the front. A super, super big space for my uh, graphics cards. It supports up to nine fans, I believe. It's, it's just, it's really a beast of a, of a chassis. And I really like the mesh front because I'm, I'm, I'm big on airflow. I, I don't really care about aesthetics as much as I care about performance. That's why I had to move from those NZXT cases because I think they're more form focused than function. But that is also another story for another day. Ah, and you know I can't do a personal build without custom cables. So the people over at Titan Rig made sure that I had everything I needed. Not sponsored, I mean, they made sure I had what I needed because I ordered it and they sent it. For now, this is this is what we're doing. We've got the uh, channel colors here. We're gonna be using this for our 24 pins, uh, EPS and our uh, eight pin connectors. And we're gonna be custom, we're gonna be custom cabling just about anything. This is SATA cable wrap. So I, I'm, I'm looking forward to what you know we can do. And for the final piece, we are gonna be replacing the 240 rad with the Chromax Noctua NHD15, but I'm gonna be using the Corsair LL140s. Now, before you go nuts, I know the Noctua fans are a much better performing set of fans than the Corsairs. I don't really care about aesthetics as much as I care about performance. I get it. You don't you don't have to let me know. But I want to see what it looks like. I've never seen it and if I like it, it's going to stay. If it's trash, I'll definitely let you know. But yeah, we're going to we're going to try our hand at this and just see how it pans out. It's all about building a rig that you love. And I know I built a zero RGB PC and I love it. However, I just enjoy looking at the lights. What can I say? I like lights. <laughs> I, li I like them a lot. Yeah, I, I think that's it for this video. Um, leave a like if you liked it. Uh, if you made it this far into the video, remember leave hashtag AO at the bottom so I can know you're here. If you enjoyed the content, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Share the video to other people that you might think want to see stuff like this. We're, we're moving along and we have a lot of cool projects coming. We have one new build with the XFX 5600 XT. Can't wait to show you that one. We've got the studio tour coming. We, we've got a lot of things planned so just stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.